Hello guys, a few months ago I've noticed this tweet and finally I got the time to reply to it publicly. This is not a tweet addressed to me, that was a reply to Code with Derry, but I will help Derry to answer that. So this is the situation described by Robert. For example, if you have such database schema, how to filter things. For example, you have items with two many-to-many -many relationships categories and locations and also locations have parent ID relationship to itself because there may be a location for example city and branches in that city. So how to filter the items in location X including child locations and have categories. And I will show you two examples of that. I asked my colleague Nerius to recreate that as a demo project with or without that SPATI package of Laravel Query Builder. Let's take a look at the result. In the database, we have something like this. So items, some of them visible one or zero, then item location with many to many, and each item has one location in my case, and also category item, another pivot table with other categories. And this is the API request with Postman. For example, you get the items with location ID. So if I get items by location ID, as you can see, it's returned with location ID 11. If I put 12 in here, probably nothing will be found because it is filtering only the visible items. And the next visible item from what I remember is in location 14. So this is filtering by location. Similarly, we can filter by categories, comma separated, and this is the syntax without any Laravel package. So I can filter like this, and then I have items with category 11, category 14, for example. And in the code, we have this. So we get the items, we start with the query, and why is it beneficial to add that query? I have a separate video on that. It's mostly for convenience. I will link that video in the description below. Then we have visible, and visible is a scope on eloquent model item. We have scope visible. It's just to have a shorter, more readable code, so we could have also where statement in here as well. Nothing really fancy. And then two when statements, when functions. So when we have location, then we filter by location with with where has, which is a relatively new Laravel feature. From what I remember, it was Laravel 9 point something, 9.12 maybe. Also have a separate video on that one. I will also link that in the description below. So we filter by locations like this. And if we have categories, we also filter the same way, just exploding the categories by comma and then doing where in. So this is how you would do that. One of the ways how to do that without any package. Another way, is to have Spati Laravel Query Builder. So let's take a look at that option. For those of you who don't know, Spati Laravel Query Builder is a well-known package to filter data from the requests. It allows you to filter whatever with whatever values that you provide as rules. So for example, allow filters by name, then allow includes by post, and allow source, for example. So in our case, we can implement something like this. So we have query builder for item class. This is the syntax according to that package. We load that with locations and categories as eager loading. And then we allow two filters by location and by categories. The exact syntax means that it should be integers and not strings to avoid things like location one matching location one, 11 and 111. So we need exact here. Also, we use the same scope visible. So that package allows you to also add your own scopes. And the result is the same. Just the syntax of calling that package is a bit different. So instead of just categories, we need to use the filter variable. And then in that filter, we add whatever we want. So this would be the example filter categories as array. You launch that one and you have the results with category 11, category 14, and nothing else. So items with category 12, 13, and 15 are probably invisible. So this is how you would do the same thing with the package. A bit shorter code if you compare those two, but it's a personal preference whether to use that package or not. Also, one more thing, I'm leaving that for you to experiment, the question of parent ID in locations. So for example, if you filter by location with ID 11, how to also filter the other locations. So what I would do in this case, is not making these queries more complex or adding some sub queries or sub selects. I will just do it here. So when we have categories, I would filter all the children of those categories or of those locations, in fact, 
and would populate the array of all the IDs of all possible locations, including parents and children, and then pass those as parameters in here or in here. You could experiment with that if you want in your free time. So yeah, this is a short video answering the question by Robert. Of course, much later than the original tweet was posted, it was in my backlog of topics for a long time. I actually have a huge list of topics to shoot videos about. So this was one of the older ones. And if you want to get daily videos like this one about eloquent performance and other stuff, of course, subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.